everybody. Welcome. Just in time for our next 10 videos. Come on in. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm Larry the Pin Bug Guy. And this is another, <coughs> excuse me, episode of Larry's Fountain Pins. Cool. Dig it. And it's that time of year for Christmas, so cheers, cheers, and all like that. Hey, today I'm going to do a review on a pen that's been reviewed thousands of times, but not by me, only a few times, and I forgot all about this pen, and I came across it, and I said, oh, I can't believe I forgot to do another review on this pen. Why? Well, I like the pen. And it's a Caveco Sport, not Caveco, Caveco. The W silent, and it's with a V. Caveco. And here it is. Caveco. Isn't that a pretty little pocket pen? It doesn't have a clip on it, but you can purchase a clip. I think, what, they're like three bucks, something like that, for a clip. And uh, the Caveco Bordeaux, it's a red burgundy color. Um, <clears throat> and the uh, material of this pen is resin. And uh, this is a little pocket pen. Nice, not heavy, not too light, but just enough to let you know that the pen's here. Great for the pocket. Uh, you unscrew it, <coughs> excuse me, and it does post. So there it is, because if you didn't, you probably still could use it, but it would be kind of small but I have small hands I may could get away with it but it would be better to go ahead and post it like that and enjoy your writing experience for the day <clears throat> okay so let's go back screw it back in <clears throat> let's go up the cap and you can see it has like that it's one two three four I don't know about six or so and it won't roll off your desk or table that's what the, the one thing good about this pen and as you uh, go up to the tip of the cap and it's got the Caveco logo on top it's kind of cool looking I think great color of pen I, I just really like this color and of course it's got the Caveco Sport engraved right there in gold really pretty pen and you go down to the barrel not much going on so let's go ahead and I'll screw it again, and we'll go ahead and show you the full barrel. As you come down the barrel, there's not much of a step off. Uh, right here is where you screw the cap on, so you don't feel anything. There's nothing sharp uh, that's going to get in your way. There's your grip. It's not a giant grip at all, but I have small fingers, so it works well. But if you have those big sausage-type fingers... You might hold it up here and uh, it's not going to bother your fingers at all. I've used this pen for many long writing sessions and my hand didn't get tired. The pen feels really great in my hands. Uh, it's the kind of pen you just enjoy pulling out of your pocket, writing some quick notes, in my case some letters uh, or address some cards. So it's really a handy pen. Uh, now, it has a steel metal nib, steel nib, and it, I believe it's got the Caveco, yes it does, on the nib, and it does have the M for medium, so it's, it's a nice looking little nib, you know, it's nothing spectacular, $25 pin, it does what it's supposed to do, but it's it's a nice looking Strack fountain pen. You know, so I think they're well worth twenty five bucks. So uh, let's unscrew the barrel and there's a cartridge. And in a minute, I'm going to fill it up and we'll get to writing. So we'll just set that aside for now. And uh, on the cartridge, it uses the uh, 
standard international short cartridges. Bah! Right here. Or they do have uh, converters for the pin that you can purchase. I don't know what they call what, what five bucks or something. I'm not sure. I have yet to buy one. I keep saying I'm going to get one and I, I never get one. So, so much for that. So, let's give some dimensions on this pen before we, before I do a writing sample. All right. The uh, length overall closed, just like it said, is 105 millimeters or 4.1 inches. The length of the cap is 70 millimeters or 2.8 inches. The length overall when it's posted, 133 millimeters or about 4 inches. Uh, the diameter of the grip is 9.4 millimeters or 0 0.4 inches. Now, the ink capacity for the cartridge is going to be 0 0.97 millimeters. And if you use it for an eyedropper, which you can, 2.89 mils. But I don't use it for an eyedropper. i not much into uh, eyedroppers because I like to change out inks a whole lot. So that's basically the, uh, the pen in a nutshell. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to start over here getting it filled up. And I'll show you how I feel. My cartridge up while I'm at it. I'm gonna use some dye mine Monaco, uh, Monaco red, kind of cool. Monaco. I'm it? sorry, Monaco. What did I say? Monaco. Monaco. <laughs> Monaco la 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 la. All right. Monaco. Here we go with it. Some yummy dye mine. Mmm. I could almost drink it. Think I should. Mmm. Now. I'm just going to get a little bit out. Here we go. And I got my syringe filled with it. The ink. And I'm going to stick the tip of the needle in. And slowly, I'll fill. Oh, uh, that's about it. I could fill it all the way up, but I'm not going to. And I push it into I hear a click. And let me uh, come over here and put some of this ink back in. The fun part comes after a while when I have to go clean everything up. Blech. Ah, here we go. Okay, I done uh, ink the pen up. Before I get to writing, let me do a, a little pin comparison to give you kind of an idea. Here is a Waterman. Longer, but slimmer. And here is a, I'm believing it's a Jay Hayburn uh, pen. I really forgot the name. I got this pen a couple of years ago. There's that. And this one is a cartridge and here's a kind of a cool one that's uh this is a jet pins pocket pin this is their version of it so there you have it jet pins this is their their version of the demo it's a little pocket pin but it's almost about the same size as the Kaveco but a little bit longer so that's a quick comparison of some pins. So what do you say we do a little bit of writing? Okay, here we go with a writing sample of the Caveco Sport. And 
and no problems with the nib, the uh, ink flow was, did very well. It writes very well, no problems with it. And we'll see how wet this pen is. And it's not all that wet, but that's okay. It's wet enough. Some fast writing. Uh-huh. Okay. And this is the Caveco Sport. It really is a pen worth having. Uh, this would be a great uh, pen for newbies coming into fountain pen world. Or maybe even the next step up. But that's for another day on beginner's fountain pens. So, with that said, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. Until next time, be safe. And don't text and drive, but remember, leave some comments below. Talk to you later, guys. I'm out of here.